play here with a quick spur of the moment uh, tutorial to show you about working with uh, an Excel table but right, there's um, there's some great things about it and then there are some scary things about it so I've set this up here where I can show you uh, so very simple this is very simple um, have a state and a deadline okay and then warning one and warning two so this is set up to show the date 10 days before the deadline so you see I have added here I'll just type it for you equals this date minus 10 so 2nd of January 2013 will be the warning date for this deadline and then this is set up to be three days prior to the deadline all right so let's say I'm gonna go down here and I've got Ohio and then the 14 February of 13 okay well all right I can do this Pull it down it'll do that and then do this it works okay we've got our relative sale references happening and the dates are, are working out but this can be a pain say if you are doing all 50 states what you can do is set up a table so highlight that area then I'm going to insert and table now it's said create table okay, my table has headers yes the date deadline warning one and warning two now we can mess around with the different looks of the table let's see let's do this all right so that's how it works now the benefit of using the table now we can see we're going to put in Minnesota and it's already including our information so you saw how that line went around it went down and captured Minnesota so let's say that the Minnesota deadline is 21 January of 13 it's automatically there we can go on and say Wisconsin 1 February 13 and we can just go um, and I'm just making this up Maryland 15 March of 13 great that's all we have to do the table is copying the formula down for us let's do one more let's just make up Iowa the expiration will be 4 February of 13 okay that's easy now here is a problem with tables okay so you go here and you say Georgia 9 January of 13 it doesn't move down okay now let's say Massachusetts 3 January 13 okay it grabbed Massachusetts and did not grab Georgia so now we go ahead and do South Carolina and say 5 March 13 no the table is not happening anymore okay first of all let's do this South Carolina made a mistake 5 January 13 okay it's not happening so what we can do is grab this little corner here and now it's working again but you got to be careful of that you know because you, you can't just randomly put this in and have the table automatically reach down we had to grab it so you can kind of break a table you know if you didn't know to grab that little that little arrow there that grabbed that corner and pull it down you might have thought that the table was broken but the answer to the question that came in today was about inserting new rows into a table 
and again let's do California and just say 1 February 13 and there you go it's just a matter of adding it in so there you have that's dealing with tables and thank you cat for your question and I hope this does answer your question thanks a lot and everybody is welcome to send in more questions